Assalamu alaikum dear become part 1 as you know that we people have started with your revision session so uh, in the previous one we started with your topic of sentence which is the basic unit and today we are going to start with one of the most important the most significant topics because this is going to cover a huge part in your paper in the first section of your paper which is the uh mostly the objective part most of the question in that objective part the first part is going to be based on these uh parts of speech so please try to learn the definitions and the concepts in a good way uh, this is the introductory chapter where we have just talked about the introduction the definitions the basic uh intro of the parts of speech and in the upcoming uh, presentations we'll talk about uh, these parts of speech in detail so let's start with the introduction First of all you need to understand what do we mean by parts of speech so by parts of speech we mean that building blocks of language by building block we mean that whenever we use language no matter we are speaking or writing the language which is being used it undertakes words so those words are taken from the uh, different categories different grammatical categories and all those grammatical categories are your parts of speech and whenever you are writing something meaningful or whenever you are speaking something meaningful those parts of speech are undertaken and the words which we borrow from these parts of speech must be put in a proper order to make meaningful sentences so this is uh, what we mean by parts of speech how many parts of speech are there they are nine in number so we have got noun pronoun verb adverb adjective conjunction preposition article and interjection so they are nine in number categories of parts of speech so uh, these parts of speech have been divided into two categories categories ka matlab ye hai ke ye jo parts of speech hai although all of them are very important but uh, they have been divided into two different classes वन क्लास इज़ नोन टू बी द फंक्शनल क्लास फंक्शनल उनको इस वजह से कहते हैं दैट दे आर द फंक्शनल वर्ड्स लाइक दे परफॉर्म सम इम्पॉर्टेंट ग्रामेटिकल फंक्शन इन द सेंटेंसेज एंड इन इंग्लिश ग्रामर दे आर ऑलमोस्ट फिक्सड इन नंबर इट वेरी लेस इट हैपन्स दैट देर आर न्यू एडिशंस बिकॉज यू सी लैंग्वेज इज़ अ लिविंग एंटिटी लैंग्वेज के अंदर तो एडिशंस और डिलीशंस होते रहते हैं यानी जैसे जैसे न्यू इन्वेंशन होती हैं विद द पैसेज ऑफ टाइम न्यू वर्ड्स न्यू वैबलरी आइटम्स न्यू एक्सप्रेशंस और बज दफ़ा कुछ वर्ड्स मिल के या कुछ वर्ड्स की जो कॉन्ट्रेक्टेड फॉर्म्स होती हैं वो नए वर्ड्स बना देती हैं और इसी तरह से कुछ चीज़ें जो अभी यूज़ में नहीं हैं या आउटडेट हो गई हैं दे आर गोइंग टू डाई दे आर गोइंग टू बी डिलीटेड फ्राम द लैंग्वेज बट बाई फंक्शनल वर्ड्स वी मीन द वर्ड्स we just perform some grammatical function and they may not carry any meaning so uh, in parts of speech we have got the four parts of speech which have got the fixed category aur jo fixed hai english mein jinme kabhi koi addition deletions nahi hote hain so unka kaam sirf sentences ke andar koi function perform karna hota hai so these are pronouns conjunctions prepositions and articles and then we have got content words by content words we mean the words the categories which are open in categories ke andar in classes ke andar new words ke additions bhi hote hain purane words jo hain wo delete bhi hote rehte hain aur these are the meaningful words these are the words which carry some meaning so these are the two classes which you need to remember let's talk about very easy and basic definitions of these parts of speech the first of all is noun simply speaking a noun is a naming word for example harry boy lahore these are the words which we use to noun someone which we use to call name for someone so these are known to be the nouns the second one is pronouns pronoun are those words which we use to replace a noun so when we want to avoid the repetition of a noun again and again when we try to avoid that oh that what you can say worn out usage of noun we are going to replace a particular noun with a pronoun and for example she you it they etc are your pronouns 
we'll go for the details of all of these parts of speech in the upcoming uh, presentations verb verb again parts of speech is the most important uh, topic in your functional english section a paper or functional english section a and out of all these parts of speech this is something which is of huge importance this is something uh, which carry more weightage out of these parts of speech so a verb is a word that denotes an action or a state of being yani kaisa word jo ya to kisi action kisi fail ke hone ka zikr karta hai ya fir kisi state of being ki baat karta hai like uh, for example you may not be doing any action while you are thinking you are not doing any action when you are uh, what you can say when you are imagining something you are not doing any physical action but these are verbs so for example think write is etc number 4 is adverb now adverb is a word that modifies or adds into the meaning of a verb adverb or an adjective yani ek aisa word adverb ek aisa verb hota hai ek aisa word hota hai jo hum verb adverb adjective ya baaz dafa dusre parts of speech except noun and pronoun ke sath use karte hain to add something into their meaning for example firstly honestly etc adjective now adjective and adverb remember girls their function is same inka function same hai both of them they add something into the meaning of some other part of speech inka function same hai but inka inki application different hai abhi jaise humne baat ki hai adverb is used adverb is used with all other parts of speech it can be used with all other parts of speech except a noun and pronoun but adjective is the modifier which can be only used with noun or pronoun yani ye sirf noun aur pronoun ke sath use hota hai adjective sirf noun ya pronoun ko modify karta hai inki meaning mein add karta hai jabki adverb in noun aur pronoun ke alawa baaki tamam parts of speech ke sath hum use kar sakte hain for example costly high intelligent etc okay the next category is that of article now article is a disputed grammatical category where some of the grammarians are of the view that article are not to be considered a part of speech but you see as no matter it's a very very limited category but we use these articles in our spoken and written language so i as a grammarian i as a linguist feel that this must be considered and i am with all those grammarians who considered this to be a part of speech so they they have never been defined properly about these uh, particular category we just know that there are two types of articles definite article and indefinite article and there are just three article in english article definite article is only one that is the and there are there are two indefinite article a and an conjunction conjunction is a word which is used to join words clauses or sentences it's it performs the function of a connector for example and however but although etc the next category is that of preposition preposition is a word which is placed before a noun or pronoun to show its relationship with another noun or pronoun in the sentence yani preposition wo wale words hote hain jinko hum kisi noun ya pronoun se pehle place karte hain to show the relationship of this particular noun or pronoun to some other noun or pronoun in the uh, sentence for example uh, the book is placed on the table so the book is placed on the table book on table okay so two nouns and inside we have got a preposition on which is showing the relationship of the positions of book and table for example in above beside etc last but not the least this is interjection interjections are the words rather these are the expressions which may not have any or grammatical standing which may not have any grammatical meaning but they are the sounds which are thrown in the sentences in the statements just to uh, solidify just to what you can say express a certain feeling 
for example hurra aha oops alas etc so these are sort of expressions that's all girls this is the simple introduction of your parts of speech so please go for these uh, standard definitions along with examples i have given uh, you examples in word form now what your part is that you'll be giving me the examples along with definition in a different style in ki jaise ki aapko bataya hua maine that there are two ways to uh, give example फॉर ईच ऑब्जेक्ट यानी एक तरीका तो ये होता है जो अभी मैंने यहाँ पे इस प्रेजेंटेशन में यूज़ किया कि मैंने आपको सिर्फ वर्ड्स बताए कि ये ये हैं ये ये आपके वर्ड्स हैं फॉर एग्जांपल अगर नाउन को डिफाइन किया तो मैंने कुछ नाउन्स लिख दिए दूसरा तरीका एग्जांपल देने का क्या होता है दैट यू राइट अ सेंटेंस यू राइट अ स्टेटमेंट एंड देन यू आइडेंटिफाई दैट और हाई दैट यू हैव डिफाइंड दिस पर्टिकुलर वर्ड फॉर एग्जाम्पल अगर आपने नाउन को डिफाइन किया है तो यू विल राइट My best friend is a doctor. Now अब आपने एक सेंटेंस लिख दिया तो आप इसमें से इस सेंटेंस में से नाउन को हाईलाइट करेंगे और फिर मुझे पता चलेगा कि दिस डेफिनेशन गोज फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर एग्जाम्पल और आपने दूसरा तरीका जो एग्जाम्पल कभी मैंने बताया ये वाला यूज़ करना है सो यूल बी राइटिंग द डेफिनेशन गिविंग वन एग्जाम्पल फॉर ईट एंड देन सेंडिंग इट बैक टू मी एंड इफ देर इज एनी कन्फ्यूजन यू आर ऑलवेज वेलकम टू आस्ट दैट Take good care of yourself. Thanks a lot.